and gentlemen, my name is Elitops and today we're gonna play another old game, this one is called uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 3, complete, the complete edition, and it's made by Freedio, this is a very very old company that made some of the best games out there, uh, and yeah, it made some of the best and also some of the worst. <laughs> But uh, we always remember the best games. And yeah, this was one of them. And this, in my opinion, is the best turn based strategy game out there. It's. Um, it's not only immersive, but it's just so uh, addictive, I guess. It's addictive and uh, compelling. I'm not sure about the story. <laughs> I guess uh, it does have a it does have a campaign and a story a storyline, but uh, I've never played it. I've always played I've always played scenarios and the random maps, which are the I guess the selling point of this game. Even if this game now I guess on GOG.com uh, it costs about um, what is it? It's uh, five dollars, which is pff, nothing. I mean, for a game that can give you over, I don't know, it can give you over 100 hours of gameplay, if I'm totally honest, and uh, there are so many campaigns, there are uh, campaigns you can find on the internet, see I can go here and you have Shadow of Death, Restoration of Earthea and Armageddon's Blade, this is, these are the campaign, the games, uh, uh, sorry. They, these are the campaigns the game comes with, and you can also find the uh, custom campaigns on the internet, and you can also make them. There's a creator tool com uh, that comes with this game, and you also have multiplayer. Uh, and this is really awesome. You can bring this. Well, some people might find it fun, so you can bring it at a party, I guess, and you can play a hot seat or I don't know. It's just really awesome. You just grab a laptop, put it on a stick, it, uh, it actually doesn't need to be installed, well if you get it from GOG it does, but uh, the actual core game files don't need to be installed, so that's really awesome, you can just put it on a stick and you can play it anywhere, it doesn't need an internet connection, especially the hot seat you have, uh, well, and other ways of connecting. And you know what I just found out? I found out that uh, it starts a separate program if you want to play online. But you know, that's totally cool. So, yeah, you have a tutorial. I don't think I've ever played a tutorial for this game. And other than that, new game, I uh, have high scores. And uh, yeah, a thing I want to tell you before the starts I don't think the animations work that well. Uh, especially with fraps and recording because it's an old game and uh, for example if I want to start recording I uh, have to press the record button and then need to press uh, somewhere on the screen like new game uh, or click uh, an option to actually let the recording start and but you know it's it's okay for an old game I mean it's not uh, it's a uh, fraps's problem that it can't uh, I guess support older games or uh, animations like these. Oh, you see what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, here if you choose to play single player, you have scenarios, a lot of them, uh, from uh, each of the two expansions. The, I guess there were two expansions and the core game. This one is the core game, I guess. Or no, the Shadow of Death is the, uh, the core game. Then comes. Uh, I don't remember the second one name, and Armageddon's Blade is the last one. I think so. <laughs> I do think so. And probably the map, one of the maps I've played the most is is where is it? It's Arrogance. I've played Arrogance so many times. It's my favorite map <laughs> from the whole game. Well, it's one of the uh, maps I've. Uh, played so much because it's easy to pick up. I mean, uh, not campaign scenarios. Uh, you just start really fast. You get your second town really fast. It's really awesome. It and it's small. That's the um, great thing. You can play with the allies. I'm gonna play this 
for myself <laughs> and I'm probably gonna finish a game because uh, one thing I found out uh, because I did try to record this um, some time ago but uh, I had to edit it quite a lot and I didn't have the time so I decided I'd uh, refilm it, reshoot it so uh, yeah uh, it's a small map and uh, you can just finish it really quick and oh yeah one th the thing that I found out is that uh, I filmed half an hour and it took only one gigabyte of space that's really awesome and uh, yes let's hope the animations work this time okay here you have the difficulties uh, can create random maps this is a really really awesome thing because if you actually get bored of all of these scenarios you can just hop on a random map everything is randomly generated and you don't know where your enemies are where your allies are it's that awesome and something connected to my computer okay you, uh, oh you have uh, factions in this game and heroes but, uh, so I'm gonna tell you a bit about every faction. Castle is mainly a faction composed of knights, uh, swordsmen, knight. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't say knights. Archangels, archers. Here you have uh, a rampart. You have in rampart you have dragons, elves, centaur, like uh, forest creatures. You also have uh, moving trees, and I've always like I've always said that uh, the moving trees and all of a sudden something took me out of the game okay I've always said that the moving trees from Lord of the Rings are from um, this game but yeah that doesn't make too much sense well it c might be it might be it might make sense so yeah uh, tower you have in tower you have magi golems um, Naga, Nan, oh, okay, Naga, I think, and Colossus is, I'm not sure what's the pro to Colossus, and I've said the same thing in the other video. Okay, in Inferno you have devil based creatures and uh, Cerberus hounds, uh, Necropolis you have, well, undead. In the dungeon you have, well, you also have dragons here, but uh, I can't remember the names of, you have minotaurs. Uh, what are those things that p petrify? I can't seem to remember now. And uh, in Stronghold you're gonna have, you have orcs. I'm probably gonna play with Stronghold. Last time I played in Necropolis and I got my ass kicked a few times and uh, yeah. Fortress. Fortress is uh, one of my favorite. It has swampy creatures and uh, they're really powerful. Uh, and Conflux, you have elementals. These are the later. Uh, this is like the later faction that's, that has been added to the game. And I think that since they made it with existing creatures from the game, they kind of made it a bit overpowered, I guess. It is a bit overpowered. I mean, uh, it just has uh, powerful creatures in it. It has elemental based creatures and uh, they were usually powerful in the game and you get them early on, it's... Uh, but it's okay, I guess. Uh, it all comes, at the end of the day, it all comes to how well you can manage your units on the battlefield. And yeah. And I'm gonna choose, let's see, uh, each hero has a speciality for example this guy uh, has a cyclops uh, some have units specialties some have um, um, some have um, okay some have skills like logistics and some get uh, spells early on I think I'm gonna pick this guy. He has haste, and haste is a really good spell, especially if you're trying to play this game like a pro. <laughs> I guess uh, this is one of the best spells because you get an attack early on in the game. 
Uh, there's so many aspects of this game. It's just an amazing and well put uh, RTS with RPG elements. I'm gonna get random artifact. Player third duration. You can go uh, and play like I guess chess. Well, it is kind of like chess. The whole idea of the game, and you can uh, say, well, you have one minute to move your unit, and yeah. Or, no, 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 you have one minute to finish a turn. Not in battle, yeah. Sorry, so I, <laughs> I messed it up a bit there. But, okay, let's begin. And, yeah, the frame rate is zero. Uh, this means nothing on the screen is moving. Well, uh, believe me when I say that things on the screen are moving. Now, you have a town. I'm gonna click. And uh, here is my town. <laughs> you have a citadel that's oh it's a fort well and you can train units here yeah it doesn't recognize that something is going on in the game well okay and you also have a town hall and uh, in here you upgrade all your stuff I guess and uh, one of the first upgrades you should always get is the city hall and then the capital or City Hall, Citadel, uh, Castle, and Del Capital. Uh, why is that? Is because you need to get as much gold as possible. And City Hall, City Halls, and Halls in general, you get one per city. No, sorry. In each city, you have one of these. Uh, they generate gold. They generate your income per day. And uh, the days end. Yes, the, there's a cycle in this game with day, weeks, and months. You have each uh, seven days, of course, a week completes, and each week has no. In which, in each week, uh, I guess you uh, sort of get new. You get new units, and uh, there are special things that happen each week. I'm gonna turn the sound a bit down. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't. The sound, the music for this game is absolutely astonishing. And now let's fight. Uh, again, the things are animated here, but you just can't see them. Okay, so I have wolf riders, goblins, and uh, orcs. Orcs are ranged units. Uh, now what you can do, these guys aren't upgraded, so they're not ranged they usually are. Oh, before you start the combat, uh, some heroes might uh, choose where to put their units. So, for example, if I want to start with my, uh, I guess, Malik guys, I can start there and put these guys behind them, uh, because if they actually get near my uh, orc, they can kill him really fast since he's ranged, and uh, when he's near, when uh, an enemy is near and you decide to attack uh, that enemy, you're gonna do a melee attack. And let me bring it up. As you can see, no, oh, it doesn't show here. Well, uh, believe me when I tell you that he doesn't do much damage with melee. So I'm just gonna go ahead. Probably if one uh, in the video, there will be these guys will. Uh, teleport randomly on the screen oh uh, I have spells uh, each hero has spells and they can be upgraded four times as you can see I have for example at haste I have like a cloud here this means that it's uh, the first one it's level one yeah well and uh, yeah spells are level one spells level two spells here I have level two spells and let's use haste on these guys if they have haste they can move all over the battlefield so that's really awesome just gonna go here and ah I can't believe I moved that bad that was a bad move I didn't click to attack oh as you can see when uh, they attacked me I retaliated that means you I guess you can do this once per turn and the turn does take some time uh, so yeah in bigger battles it takes some time and you can only retaliate with a unit once and that's 
the end of this battle. Retaliating means that uh, your units can attack back. There are some that always retaliate and there are some that never retaliate or you can... Uh, uh, some when they attack they have like... A, they have uh, an attack effect that uh, doesn't let the other guys retaliate uh, I guess once or twice in a turn or something like that. I don't remember exactly. It's been so long since I've played this game. Okay, gonna attack the pixies. Uh, these are upgraded pixies. I think they call they're called fairies here. No sprites. Okay, since uh, these guys move really fast, so I want to protect my, uh, uh, I guess my <laughs> uh, ranged. Uh, even if the computer never actually realizes that. Uh, uh, archers and ranged units are the they are they can kill anything when they are many so uh, they usually attack like these little guys because they do the most damage these that start so yeah, I'm gonna put them all in defense oh I could have attacked ranged well doesn't matter they're dead that was just me being dumb <laughs> 